good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Please feel free to check out uh, any of the previous reviews. I'm doing these in some kind of order, but I thought I'd save the best till last because I absolutely love Foxy. Let us know in the comments if you are a Foxy fan. You can see more content on FoxyFan 1401 right here, TikTok. Keep following up with the channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the fabulous, snacktastic gingerbread foxy. Gingerbread foxy. Now, gingerbread foxy is absolutely amazing. I know I said before, I've got his little plushie, which is over there. He is somewhere over there. Yep, there he is. He's hiding next to the amazing foxy statue. Um, so yes, let's get this guy open, but first, just before I do that, let's take a look at the box. So, because I didn't show the box um, in my previous last three parts, oh, forgive me, the lighting's just got a bit funny, um, here it is. So the box is similar to the generic Funko boxes that have come before. You have the window packaging show, showcasing the figurine and you have the name at the bottom. It's a little bit of a sticker and I think I, th I think you can probably tell it looks like it's peeling off a little bit. Now I love the Christmas design, I think the aesthetic's beautiful, I think for um, the Christmas month and in the run up to Christmas when these were out it was nice to see them on the shelf. Um, now this is a nice way of showcasing the other figures in the wave. You've got Elf Bonnie, you've got Santa Freddy, Foxy, and you've got Snow Chica. I cannot describe how painful it was to do this to the box, but um, yes. Um, so there's the packaging. Absolutely looks amazing. Like, well, it did look amazing, as you saw. <laughs> So what I like to do, I just literally, normally, I do preserve the packaging in case they ever want to reseal them. Um, but yeah, so out of his prison, here he is, he looks amazing. Look at the detail, look, he's kind of giving off like reindeer vibes. Um, I like his cute little toes as well, and I like how the hook is a little candy cane. And... He's got a cute little mint on his eye there. Right, let's get him out of his prison. Okay, so, firstly, taking a look at him, what can we say? Well, the detailing looks adorable. I like, I like how they've painted his endoskeleton as well. Got the little rips and bumps that Foxy has and the tears in his outfit. The sculpt on this feels different. I don't know if anyone else has had that, but it definitely feels different compared. Right, so we can see a few other Foxies at the back here. We've got Nightmare Foxy, we've got Radioactive Foxy. We've got Rockstar Foxy, he looks amazing. I fixed him using uh, a bootleg Rockstar Foxy because I got the Rockstar figures off of the FNAF page on Facebook. Absolutely wonderful page. They help you um, avoid scamming. You get like prices, you know, like uh, uh, quote references, stuff like that. It's absolutely wonderful page. Loads of people share like their collections and everyone's just really friendly. It's such a lovely atmosphere as well. So, you've got Rockstar Foxy, you've got Radioactive Foxy, Nightmare Foxy. Now, I repainted uh, this Foxy because the original one was, I put a picture on screen, it was like this orangey sort of reddishy kind of colour. And I, I, I just, I don't know what they were thinking, uh, but it just didn't work for me. So what I did, as you can tell, uh, I've painted 
his little um, endoskeleton and I've also coated it in like, a, I'm gonna say a citadel I think, it, yeah it was, it was um, a citadel red uh, coloured paint and I just think, especially I've painted like one or two of his teeth gold as well, I'm not sure if that'll pick up on camera yeah, it's probably not. Uh, I lost his claw arm. His claw? His hook. I lost his hook arm. And I don't know if anyone can tell, but it's a little bit of a clay. And I've used one of those little hooks that you put, uh, say, like above your window to put like a wind chime on or something. Um, and it's, it, it's done the job. I just coated it in a bit of silver. I'm hoping to try and pick up. Uh, a movie foxy if they ever release him but there is some I mean like there is still some available uh, but yeah I just feel like this paint job really works um, I've had to glue it because again the joints are just absolutely fragile as hell because they just keep falling off whereas the new one like these new um, skins for this foxy it's really sturdy and as you heard from earlier in the video the joints just click on. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch Foxy, he's the gingerbread man, but oh look. <laughs> oh, that was that was good click. Yeah, that was a good click as well. Oh, see like the joint detail. For detail, I'm honestly going to give this figurine a 10 out of 10, purely because it looks like the the character that it's trying to portray. I love the fact that the icing goes all around. It really like jumps out to the view, like to the I was gonna say to the viewer. I hope it does jump out to you. Like it stands out from a distance. It's a nice, cute little uh, variant for Foxy as well. And just to continue the hype and get new figurine collectors and fans of Five Nights at Freddy's into the franchise, I feel like this really does do an excellent job, especially like the new inclusions and different themes. Like, I really think it's adorable. The, the white icing really does just, it just looks like a gingerbread man. There's no other way to say it. It just literally, he looks adorable. He looks like a snack. <laughs> I don't, really don't know what else to say. The the sort of gingerbread coloured paint that they've used for the cookie, absolutely fantastic. It looks adorable. It looks convincingly like a gingerbread man. I think the inclusion of the endoskeleton it's a different grey. It's like it's like um it's not silver and I'm not sure. I mean I think it just adds another layer to him. I like the green shorts, I think they're really adorable. I, literally, I feel like the adorable count and the cute count that I've come out with in these videos has been endless. So yeah, I'm gonna um just sort of walk through some of the articulation as well. Joints just literally just fall off so easily so I was one of those fans that um, I've looked after them but see if there's been a bump or a fall off the shelf it's a quick glue so the joints as you can see 360 uh, oh god literally he's lost his arm he was so happy he's lost his arm um, but yeah the joints they go round 360, the head, as you can see, is 360, and, oh, again, his legs just keep popping off, can't help it, um, yeah, the legs swivel, again, sorry about that, his legs are pretty, pop like, the, basically, I think the gimmick with these figurines is you can like swap parts around with other characters that you might own. 
Um, I think that would be like m more of a gimmick for like like younger audiences, whereas like for like just like collectors and lovers since day one, I think I think these are kind of just fun little variants of the character, different sprites. Again, ten out of ten. I would highly recommend him if you are a, if you are a fan of Foxy and you enjoy uh, the, the the many endless variants that Funko keep pumping out at the moment. I would recommend him because, again, until we get any FNAF movie merch, I think we've been announced that we're getting a, a cupcake from the movie. I think that's going to be quite fun to see. Um, I would recommend them. I, I really love Five Nights at Freddy's. I love the lore, I love the games, I love the mystery, I think the book series is really good. There's, there's so much to this franchise. And honestly, I absolutely love it. I really cannot wait to see what figurines we get next. Again, just zooming in. It looks absolutely lovely. Um, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Highly recommend if you've not got it already. I'll see you in the next video.